Hey there, and welcome to my next City Skylines tutorial. Today I want to show you how to build a commercial traffic only toll station. Alright, before we get to the building, let me quickly walk you through the little setup I got here. On the left is a town with residential and commercial district. On the right is the industrial park with mostly industrial zoning, some offices and a tiny bit of commercial. There in the middle is our partial clover leaf we built in the last tutorial. If you haven't seen that already, the link is in the description. And I already built a toll station for commercial traffic here. Now we are going to build one on the other side. The goal is to funnel all the incoming traffic and the traffic from the industrial park to one of each of these toll stations. So we are now on the road between the highway intersection and the town. First I'm going to use the picker function of network skins and grab that road. Then upgrade that segment, which as always is 10 units between the nodes. Of course that now needs to be a middle section. And this node is gonna be the point where the off ramp to the toll station will be. Let's simply delete a good stretch of the road here. Use the picker again to grab that road. And now we want a 10 unit segment. And always make sure you have the banding disabled and the road collision. So to fit the toll station in, I'm gonna go from here to there. You can see? There is just three units space in between now. Also, to see a little better, let's get rid of some of the trees here. We can put them in later again. Now grab the toll station. We want the small one way. With the right mouse button you can rotate it, make it as straight as you can, and then it will dock straight to the node. Now we can get rid of that part. Go to the ro roads. Pick her again. Now we go to that node and add another 10. And from here we can connect it to the rest of the road again. So we got that node lined up. And 10 over here, that node lined up, 10 over there. Well, actually, let's remove that. Now we need this asymmetrical road here. And again, 10. And rotate it around by right clicking so the two lanes are on the side where the station is. Now grab the road again, straight and connect. Now we need the single highway ramps. And as always I got the arrows disabled on these roads and no lights. Gonna use the curved road tool, come here, go 5 units to there. Same on the other side, 5 units and connect. Now that's facing the wrong direction. Oh and also your toll station might look different. You probably still got the vanilla trees on there, but you can use Bob. Make sure you're not selecting just the segment here but the entire thing. And then on the left you got all the trees that are on the building. And on the right side, the trees you 
have installed. So simply pick on the left side what you want to change, on the right side what you want to change it to, and then hit that button. I already did that, so I don't need to do that now. Okay, now we need a node controller. Let's start on the right here. Make the end straight. Put it to slope in case this is on a slope. And set that to about 34. And the highest number is 33.78, so 34 should be good. Now the next note. Usually I would hold shift here and align it with that edge, but because that is a locked node that is part of that building, I can't do that. So what we are doing instead is to shift manually. We want to shift the red node. So hover over there and use the mouse wheel. And shift it down so that is mostly lining up here. Gonna switch back to that note, make it straight again. Back to that note. And move that side as far back as you can, as, as long as that keeps green. If it goes into the red, that's, that's not good. And now we are doing the same on the other side. Let's check the numbers. We got the shift of minus 6 and an offset of 40. And on this side, shift here, line it up with that, and that note, and line that up with there. I'll check that again. Uh, one, a little bit back, so that's no longer red. And on that note, always straight, always slope. Did I do that here? Nope. I'll slope here as well. Back to that note. And I want that to be 20. Now let's do the functionality. Use the lane connector. On this side we want them to go straight. But leave them on the other side, because that traffic here needs to be able to switch lane here and traffic coming from here needs to be able to switch into that lane. So the outer line here is a combined merging lane for the traffic that comes from the highway, but also a split lane for all the commercial traffic that comes from over here going into the toll station. Next note, that's all going straight, so Control S. Yep, that's correct. The next note here, also control S. And same here. And next up, the speed. We don't want the traffic to speed in here with AV, so <laughs> let's change that here to, let's say, 50. They're coming in. Slowing down to 50, to 20, 20, and there they can speed up again, that's fine. Now to the vehicle restrictions. We want to ban truck traffic on this side. This means no commercial traffic can pass through this segment. Same here, here, and here. So all commercial traffic coming from here is forced to take that route to the toll station. This doesn't include uh, postal service or fire trucks or stuff like that, so it's really only commercial traffic. 
Next up, junction restriction. Let's check. They can always pass in here. No crossing. Always pass in here. Same on that side. That's already set up. Then no crossing. Always can pass. No crossing. No crossing. Always can pass. Now back to the node controller. Okay, I think that's a little bit too wide. Let's move the blue further in. To about 10. Yeah, that's good. Good, now it's time for the intersection marking tool. To that note, hold shift for a solid line. Same here. A regular line here, solid line there, because that's the beginning of the split lane that goes through the highway in the change. Oh no, that, that was completely wrong here. <laughs> Remove that again. Solid here. And solid there. And a double solid in the middle. Hold old. And get the filler in. That would be a chevron. That looks already good. Just invert. So that traffic is deflected there, that traffic is deflected there. Good, next node. Solid here and a solid there. They don't really line up, but if we use control to move them, they kind of get invisible, so... I'd rather have them not line up than to be invisible. Then the same on the other side. Just two solid lines. Next here, solid through here, hold shift. One here. Which is not lining up, so move it a little bit. That is fine. And sadly on these roads the double solids are smaller so we have to live with that imperfection as well. Then more solids. And holding alt to create, oh, let's start here, create another chevron. Here to there. Chevron is already correct. Perfect. Next node. Solid, solid, regular, and the double solid. Again, needs a little bit lining up. Good, that's good enough. Good, now that is sorted, let's get, go in here and crank the ticket price up all the way. So we get $4 or whatever that is per vehicle. Also to make it function, we need electricity. So I use these little rural utility lines to go... No, let's, Disable at all to go from here to the next town. Go to there, there, all the way there, and that is already enough. But let's actually go to the other side where we connect to 
the solar panels. Now just get rid of all the trees <laughs> that are in the way. By the way, if you got road collision on and you try to build so close to the road, that's getting rid of the pillar. So make sure that is disabled. Oh, there we go. It has power and everything is set up. Now we need to decorate. I'm gonna use these barriers. If you wanna use something else, that's totally fine. It's just what I like to do. done and there comes the traffic as you can see all the commercial traffic is going to the toll station as always all the mods are linked in the description and if you like the tutorial please consider to comment like and subscribe that would help the channel a lot and very much appreciated by me and if you want to support the channel even further than that easy enough check the description there you can become a patron or subscribe on twitch you also can join a discord server where you can show what you came up with or chat with the community i hope i see you next time have a great day bye bye Big.